Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Emma and today I'm doing a video that people have been asking about but that I've been kind of scared to film and that is my entire physical TBR. Before we get into this, I have a lot of books in my physical TBR as you'll probably see and as you can imagine. I do want to say though that um, I do like having a lot of books here so I don't have to go to the library or like buy new ones. Pretty much like 95% of the books I buy are all thrifted, so I do read surprisingly more books than I take in, even though I'm going to show you a, an insane amount of books that I haven't actually read yet that are on my TBR. Um, I do read more than these. So because I have so many books, I decided to split this video into categories, and um, the kind of breakdown of the video will be down below. So if you want to skip to like fiction or YA or nonfiction or mythology, like whatever, like it'll be basically there for you so um, but I do want to say as well please vote for like either your number one book that I should prioritize or that I should read first in my whole TBR or feel free to vote by category I think that would be cool too so to see like what book I should read first in like YA or children's or whatever horror so um, yeah but without further ado let's get into it I think I am going to start with children's just because those are the least amount of books I have to read this might be quite a long video but let's get into it. So I actually only have three children's books that I own that I have not yet read and they are The Amber Spyglass by Philip Pullman and Anne of Green Gables by Lucy Maud Montgomery. Okay so now I have some YA books that I have not yet read. The first one is The Enchanted Sonata by Heather Dixon Walwork, Traitor to the Throne by Alwyn Hamilton, Queen of Shadows by Sarah J Maas, The Raven Boys by Maggie Steve Otter, Skyward by Brandon Sanderson, and finally a Cold Legacy by Megan Shepard. All right, so our next category in question is adult literature. The first adult book I have that I have not yet read is The Secret Life of Laszlo, Count Dracula by Roderick Anscombe, The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood, The Elliot Girls by Krista Bridge, The Infernal Desire Machines of Dr. Hoffman by Angela Carter, The Bloody Chamber by Angela Carter, the City of Brass by S.A. Chakraborty. The Golden Ball and Other Short Stories by Agatha Christie. Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell by Susanna Clarke. Henry James's Midnight Song by Carol the Cellist Hill. The Fifty Year Sword by Marksa Danieluski. Dragonfly in Amber by Diana Gabaldon. Unmasked by Colette Gale, an erotic novel of the Phantom of the Opera. The Seventh Sacrament by David Hewson. The Vampire, The Secret History of Lord Byron by Tom Holland, The Haunting of Hill House by Shirley Jackson, and We Have Always Lived in the Castle by Shirley Jackson, Never Night by Jay Kristoff, The Paris Wife by Paula McLean, Tulip Fever by Deborah McGack, The Dante Club by Matthew Pearl, and The Dante Chamber by Matthew Pearl, Interview with the Vampire by Anne Rice, If We Were Villains by M.L. Rio, The Nightlife of the Gods by Thorn Smith, the horrific sufferings of the mind-reading monster Hercules Barefoot, His Wonderful Love and His Terrible Hatred by Carl Johan Valgren, Nervous Conditions by Sitsi de Garemga, A Dance with Dragons by George R. R. Martin, Blood of Elves by Andrzej Sapkowski, I'm so sorry if I said that wrong. We now have the very specific category of retellings based on Greek or Roman myth. The Silence of the Girls by Pat Barker, Alexander, The Ends of the Earth by Valerio Massimo Manfredi, The Song of Troy by Colleen McCullough, The Venus Throw by Stephen Saylor, The Amber Road by Harry Sidebottom, The Egyptologist by Arthur Phillips, and The October Horse by Colleen McCullough. Okay, I think now I'm going to move on to my poetry collections that I haven't yet read. The Complete Poems of Emily Bronte, The Collected Poems of Emily Dickinson, the Collected Poems of Arthur Rimbaud, The Selected Poetry of René Rilke, and The Poetry of Rilke, Selected Poems of Ezra Pound, Miscellany 2, A Visit to Grandpa's by Dylan Thomas, Yeats, Selected Poetry, and The Works of John Keats. All right, now we're going to move on to classics of literature, of which there are quite a few, so get ready. Dante's Inferno, The Quest of the Holy Grail, A Midsummer Night's Dream, by Shakespeare, Macbeth, The Merchant of Venice, The Italian by Anne Radcliffe, A Vindication of the Rights of Women by Mary Wollstonecraft, Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow and Other Stories by Washington Irving, Narrative of the Life of Frederick Douglass, an American Slave, and Incidents in the Life of a Slave Girl by Harriet Jacobs, The Lady of the Camellias by Alexandre Dumas, Fils, 
Moby Dick by Herman Melville, The Woman in White by Wilkie Collins, Great Expectations by Charles Dickens, The Idiots by Fyodor Dostoevsky, War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy, The Selected Letters of Oscar Wilde, Lady Windermere's Fan by Oscar Wilde, De Profundis by Oscar Wilde, The Turn of the Screw by Henry James, Stories of God by Rilke, In Our Time by Ernest Hemingway, The Sun Also Rises by Ernest Hemingway, Tender is the Night by F. Scott Fitzgerald, Snow Country by Yasunari Kawabata, H.P. Lovecraft Short Stories, Finders Keepers by Seamus Heaney, Beloved by Toni Morrison, 100 Years of Solitude by Gabriel Garcia Marquez, The Unabridged Journals of Sylvia Blath. All right, and now we'll move on into our second last category, Classical Studies. The Egyptian Book of the Dead, Egyptian Hieroglyphics, How to Read and Write Them by Stefan Rosini, The Mycenaeans by Taylor and Chadwick, If Not Winter, Translated Fragments of Sappho by Anne Carson, An Oristaya by Anne Carson, The Greek Myths, Volume 1 and Volume 2 by Robert Graves, The Greek Myths by Stephen P. Kershaw, The Histories by Polybius, The Peloponnesian Wars by Thucydides, Medea and Other Plays by Euripides, The Bacchae and Other Plays by Euripides, Lysistrata, The Acarnians and the Clouds by Aristophanes, The Voyage of Argo by Apollonius of Rhodes, The Symposium by Plato, The Law of Athens, The Family and Property by A. R. W. Harrison, The Lust to Annihilate, A Psychoanalytic Study of Violence in Ancient Greek Culture by Eli Sagan, Four Comedies by Plautus, The Aeneid by Virgil, Catiline's War, The Jugurthine War, and Histories by Sallust, The Republic and the Laws by Cicero, Metamorphoses by Ovid, Six Tragedies by Seneca, The Rise of Rome, Books 1-5 to by Livy, Antiquity by Norman F. Cantor, and finally in this category, As the Romans Did by Joanne Shelton. Alright, moving on finally to our last category, which is nonfiction. First up is Synesthesia by Richard E. Seidowick, which I actually have, fun fact. Infinity, The Quest to Think the Unthinkable by Brian Clegg, The Book of Constellations by Robin Carrod, and The Universe in a Nutshell by Stephen Hawking, Chinese Myths and Legends by Chen Lanshan, The Element Encyclopedia of Secret Signs and Symbols by Adele Nozadar, The Secret Life of the Incas by William Sullivan, The Warrior Queens by Antonia Fraser, The Silk Roads by Peter Frankopan, A History of Scotland by J.D. Mackey, The House of Medici by Christopher Hibbert, the Immortal Evening by Stanley Plumley, The Telltale Hearts by Julian Simmons, and finally, the last book in this whole dang TBR, The Young Romantics by Daisy Hay. All right, that is finally it. Those are all the books that I own that I haven't yet read. Yikes, I don't know how many that was. Maybe I'll put a counter here, but probably not. Anyway, like I said, vote for which book, I guess, is your favorite in each category, but thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Ciao.